Hi, I'm Anna from Miss A Crochet, and I'm going to be showing you how to crochet your very own soot sprite. I've been in love with these guys for so many months. I absolutely adore them in the Studio Ghibli movies. I even made myself my own soot sprite earrings. I've been holding off on actually making these guys for a really long time because I was super intimidated by using eyelash yarn. Using eyelash yarn and then using black eyelash yarn is not an easy task and my friend and I figured out a super easy way to crochet them with this yarn where you don't have to have this yarn and black acrylic yarn because when I would try it with that it would just get so bulky where my, my hooks could not fit in it and I just kept going up hook sizes but then the holes were too big so I'm gonna be showing you how we ended up doing that and I'm also just gonna be trying to make a bunch we're gonna see how many I can make in an hour because they're really pretty quick the hardest part about this is making the little perfect circles for their eyes because you're cutting felt it's such a small shape but my friend pre-cut some for me so I'm gonna use those up along with more skeins of this and I discovered that about a whole skein of this can make five soot sprites so here let me show you them all here's one that we made with the Kenpito attached to the arm this is just a bead from Michael's I believe I'm not really sure so I have one two three this one doesn't have any arms it looks like it's from my neighbor Totoro 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 I don't know how to say it another no arm and don't fall, don't fall. My friend made this one. She made some of these as well, but she let me keep them because she hasn't seen the movies yet. And I feel really bad I haven't watched them with her. From one skein of that eyelash yarn, I was able to make five soot sprites and I had some left over. Not enough to make a whole one, but enough where I could use it for stuffing or something like that. So first I'm gonna show you guys how to make your own soot sprite. Then I'm gonna see how many I can make in an hour because I think that's really fun and I love watching people do that as well. The materials you'll need to make this are black eyelash yarn. I personally use a seven millimeter hook, white felt cut into circles, polyfill, a stitch marker, safety eyes, a yarn needle, scissors, black acrylic yarn for the soot sprite arms, and a light if you decide to make the arms. To start you're going to make a loose slip stitch. Uh, don't start it as tight as I did. That was really dumb of me. As you can see I am regretting my decision. And then you're going to pull the working yarn through the slip stitch and then pull that, loosening the loop even more. And then I'm going to pull the working yarn through the loop. Pull more and repeat that as many times as you want. You're essentially just making a giant chain and I did this for a couple of feet. Uh, my friend Macy learned this trick from Ann SCLST on TikTok, so I'll have that video linked below. And now we can finally crochet. Um, I'm making a magic ring. If you don't know how to make a magic ring, this is not the video for you. <laughs> We're going to do six single crochet in the magic ring. Here I am. Um, I found that marking my very first stitch helps me find it right away when I'm using fuzzy yarn. Now here we are just doing those six single crochet in the magic ring. Make sure these six single crochets are pretty loose so that the next row that we do can be easier on your hands. I know when I first made one I just did my normal tension and I regretted it a lot. Once you got the six single crochet in the magic ring, pull the yarn tail to tighten your magic ring. Uh, make sure you don't pull it too tight or the yarn tail could break. Now you're going to increase in each stitch. Um, I sped this part up because my freaking hands were out of frame. <laughs> uh, you can definitely tell this is one of my, you know, first YouTube tutorials. Here I am still out of frame. I ended up running out of my tripled yarn. So I am taking the working yarn and pulling it through that loop. Right there, pull, 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 making another loop. And pulling even more because I just wanna get a couple more feet of the yarn just ready so I don't have to keep stopping where I'm at. Here's what it looks like after round two is done. I actually prefer the inside of this project because the eyelash yarn looks a lot better, but whatever side looks best and is the fuzziest is the one you should obviously use. It's really just personal preference. Continuing on, we are going to single crochet and increase in the next stitch six times, making this row end with 18 stitches. At this point, I am going by feel. I can't see the stitches at all, but I can feel where they are and where my hook fits best. As long as you end the row with 18 stitches, I say you're doing a good job. Um, this skein is also shedding a lot more than the first one that I had. I don't know what I'm doing different or what's going on, but the soot sprite ended up still being really fuzzy when I finished making it. 
In a couple stitches, you'll find my mistake. I accidentally crocheted too far, so I had to undo like three or four stitches to find my loop that I used to triple my yarn. Um, so be really careful because this was honestly terrifying. I hated trying to get my hook back into all three pieces of eyelash yarn, but I ended up doing it. It ended up being perfectly fine, but here, you always make sure that you have three. So there's one, there's two, there's three. Um, if you don't, obviously something went wrong and start over. That sounds so evil, but if you're not doing it with three, I mean, something obviously happened. Because I was absolutely terrified this would happen again, I added a stitch marker to the last loop so I wouldn't accidentally do that. And it actually worked really well. If you have an extra stitch marker or bobby pin or anything really, I'd recommend it. It gave me a lot of peace of mind. I am finally finishing this freaking row. And now we just have to do two more rows of single crochet before we start decreasing. Um, I sped this up <laughs> uh, because I was bored watching myself struggle to insert my hook into these stitches. Um, it's really not that hard to single crochet with this stuff. Uh, again, almost ran out, but my stitch marker saved me. I probably should have just been doing that from the first place, but, you know, you live and you learn. And I learned the hard way. Here's what it should be looking like. It honestly looks like a sea urchin, but I guess that's kind of the point. Soot Sprite, sea urchin, they're just different colors. Now that we have finished the two rows of single crochet, we can start adding the eyes. I would tell you where I place my eyes, but I have no clue since I can't actually see or count the stitches. I really just eye it. <laughs> Get it? I'm sorry, I'll stop now. PSA. The back of the eyes can be a little difficult to get on, but once you get them on, they're hard to get off, so make sure you like your placement. I haven't messed up the placement yet, knock on wood, but once you get them on, they're not coming off. I like to start stuffing now because once we start decreasing, it's going to get really hard really fast to stuff the soot sprite. Getting back to it, we are going to single crochet and then decrease in the next stitch six times, or we're going to do that until our stitch count for this row is 12 stitches. Decreasing with this eyelash yarn was significantly harder for me than increasing with it. Um, I think it's because the yarn is tripled, and then when it's crocheted, there are now six strands of yarn in each stitch, and I have to try and hook three of them. I got through it though, and now I am decreasing six times. I almost made it to the end without having to triple my yarn again, but I wanted to be safe and make sure I had enough so that I can sew my soot sprite shut. Slip stitch fast enough like normal and sew the last six stitches together and don't forget to give them a little haircut. If you want to make the legs, you're going to need some black acrylic yarn and the lighter. Um, please do not use this lighter without supervision if you are a young child. I don't want anyone's house to burn down, and I also would not want to be blamed for anyone's house burning down. Now we are taking our acrylic yarn, measuring it out, and then cutting it to be the length that we want the arms to be. I added a little bit more just to account for the knots. Uh, thread your needle and sew the acrylic through the sides of your soot sprite. Uh, I really try to evenly pull the yarn through the body so the arms will be similar lengths. Here I am trying to get it to go through the stuffing. I measure the arm length by just holding them up above its head. I don't really know if that's a legit way of measuring it, but whatever, just make sure they're even. I tie two knots next to the body just so that the arms can't go back into the body. Um, I don't know, that's optional. I just do it. Here I am measuring the arms again, making sure that they're the same length before I tie the hands. And for the hands, I'm just going to do double knot again. I sped it up because it's actually really tedious tying double knots with acrylic yarn. Now you're going to just trim off the extra yarn and get it ready for burning. Okay, sorry. I let my intrusive thought win. I just wanted to say that because it sounded fun. 
I recommend doing this part outside since you're melting acrylic. I grabbed a notebook um, to use as a surface and something flat that I could use to squish the knots. You can really use anything. My friend Macy just uses her hands to squish the yarn and she sometimes burns herself so maybe don't do that. If you do use this method, be warned the yarn can still be hot so please please be careful or just skip this step. I just don't trust my knots to actually stay knotted so I melt them into place. If you know a better method, let me know. I would love to hear your recommendations. For the other arm and legs, I just repeat the same step and then you're done. Your sit right is done and now you can make yourself an entire army. Just make sure you have enough compito to keep them happy and do not force them to carry coal. Today's the day. I'm going to see how many sit sprites I can make in one hour. But first, I'm going to see if I have enough felt circles left and I'm going to be sneaky and prep them if I don't. I'm fairly certain I'm going to be able to make more than two soap sprites in an hour, so I'm going to cut some more. Wish me luck. I absolutely hate cutting felt, but I will do it for the cause. Does anybody else hate cutting felt? It is my least favorite thing to do. It is so hard for me. I already am really bad at using scissors. So I just saw my posture. Oof. I promise I have better posture. I'm being very focused as well, which probably doesn't help my posture. So posture police, come at me. I don't really care. I play the violin and I have good posture when I do that, which is when it really matters. <laughs> Does anybody know a better way to cut felt? Who knew 20 years of living doesn't teach you how to cut felt? Life is a scam. Full transparency, my floor is covered in felt right now. But that's okay because you don't get to look at my floor. I have to. And I have to vacuum it later. Okay, I have two sets of ice that Macy made and they're really nice. And then I have two that I made, except they're significantly different sizes. All right, now I'm just puncturing holes into my felt. Ta-da! Could be better, could be worse. If you are making these with me, I do recommend having like a big pair of scissors and then a little smaller pair of scissors. Okay, I have enough to make four. I'm not sure I'll make it that far. All right, I'm gonna start the timer. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Ah. I'm just trying to get a couple feet done, but when I start, it won't be so hard. I think I am good to start. I'm already almost a minute in and I have one stitch. <laughs> this is not going as good as I thought it was going to. Already need to triple it again. I was going to be brave and do my tripling method without using the stitch marker, but I remembered how much it sucked last time I did that, so I'm going to be careful. I lost count of my stitches. I'm gonna use my stitch marker now because now I'm I'm paranoid. I dropped my stitch marker. A tragedy. I am wasting time. Trying. Oh my gosh, I'm wasting so much time. Oh no, please. I have now dropped two stitch markers on the floor and I'm at five minutes. All right, now I'm just single crocheting so I don't have to pay attention. 16, 17, 18. I was right, it was 18. Are there any patterns that you guys have memorized that are just one of your favorites? Because I love that this is super easy. It's only, how many rows is it? 6, 12, 18, 18, 18, 12, 6. It's only 7 rows? I think it's only 7 rows. I just wasted time doing that. I also really love Not Jade Co's Lady Frogs. Hmm, what else? There are a lot of octopus patterns that are super easy to memorize. Oh, and bees. Bees are really easy to freehand or just memorize the pattern too. Ew, I think I'm crocheting a piece of my hair into this. Ew! I don't like that. It bothers me. I'm over halfway done and I'm only at eight minutes. So I'd say I'm doing pretty good. I feel like the thing that's taking me the longest 
is tripling the yarn. I've dropped so much stuff on the floor, it's not even funny. All right, I'm already on to the decreases and it's nine minutes and 48 seconds, so I'm pretty happy. I decided I'm gonna be a cheater and not add arms to any of these guys. Even though a lot of them have arms and spirited away, I'm just gonna be evil and only make their bodies because their arms take a lot longer and they're really kind of finicky. And right now I am struggling with placing these eyes. <laughs> they're so fun though. I really think that my friend Macy taught me that trick for tripling yarn. It made this so much easier to make. Decreasing this stuff is so much harder. I'm gonna start stuffing. I really like to stuff my amigurumi firmly because I don't know, I just it just feels better <laughs> to me. And polyfill does deflate over time. I have learned the hard way. I have a ton of old plushies that are really no good now, which really kind of which really kind of sucks, but they were old plushies, so they weren't the greatest anyways. I really want to get this one done in under 20 minutes, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Right now, I am at 17 minutes and 52 seconds. Now I'm getting sloppy because I'm on a time crunch. Please, please. There. Ooh, what happened? I've been tangled. I really want to get like a red or orange version of this and make um, Calcifer from Howl's Moving Castle. I think that would be really fun. I've seen some people make um, Calcifer using like acrylic and then they brush it out so it looks like flames. But I think this could be really good. Um, okay, I'm almost done. <sighs> okay, I'm at 19 minutes and 19 seconds. Come on, come on, come on. Haircut. Done. 19 minutes and 52 seconds. All right, the next one. Okay, we are officially halfway done. Um, that's a lie. I'm actually at 31 minutes and 20 seconds, but still. I'm almost done with this one, so I'm thinking I might be able to make one or maybe one and a half more. Um, either way, I am excited to have a giant army of soot sprites. Second soot sprite completed at 36 minutes and 50 seconds. All right, we are officially in the last 10 minutes. I think I'm gonna get it done. I think I'm gonna get this third one done and that's it. <laughs> no, not four, not four, that's for sure. See you in the end. I'm almost done, I just did my last stitch. I don't think it needs any more stuffing. Oh, okay, maybe, just a little bit, just a little bit. I get kind of obsessive when it comes to stuff because if it's not stuffed the right way, then once you close it, that's it. Okay, that feels a bit better. Okay, I am at 52 minutes and 45 seconds. Six minutes. I got six minutes. I think I'm gonna get it done by then. But I'm definitely not making a fourth one, that's for sure. I could probably start a fourth one, but I'm just gonna count the time that it took for me to cut out the felt eyes as the remaining time because I'm too lazy to start another one. <laughs> and time, okay. I'm gonna say that it's been an hour. It's been um, 55 minutes and 35 seconds. House rules, whatever. So within that 55 minutes and 35 seconds, I made three soot sprites. Here they are. Ooh, they're all falling in their eyes. Okay. Um, I don't remember what order. It doesn't really matter. They're all the same thing. So here's one of them. The next one. Ooh, is that one's eyes crooked? <laughs> Let's see, I say that I say that in every single video, but I always am concerned that they are. And here's the third. Let me know in the comments if you're gonna make a soot sprite. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. I'll be posting more of these guys and the other things that I make. I'll see you next week. Bye.